Hello, my name is Rob Moss and I'm an echocardiographer at St. Paul's Hospital and UBC. Today we're going to explore together the four essential diagnostic views that comprise a cardiac focus exam. The ultimate objective is to acquire the skills and knowledge to gather the images that will allow the imager, with the support of an imaging expert, to rule in or rule out a few essential life-threatening cardiac conditions. Today we will be looking at the B mode in ultrasound in which objects along the plane of the ultrasound beam are visualized. We will briefly consider color doppling imaging as both these modalities are in scope for POCUS platforms. A variety of probes or transducers are available for POCUS imaging. If it is there for you, a phased array transducer such as in V-Scan or Lumify is preferable for cardiac imaging. In this video, we will be demonstrating the Sonosite Edge 1, which is a cart-based system but the same principles apply to all POCUS platforms. But first, a word of caution. A cardiac ultrasound is probably the most challenging aspect of the POCUS exam. Know your limitations, keep working at it, and get help if you're unsure. Okay, let's get started. Today we're going to be using the cardiology convention, which places the image marker to the right of the screen. The patient's demographics and identifiers must be entered or chosen from a work list. This is an essential first step in the storage and archiving of images, which are recommended practice for quality improvement. You'll want to be using the cardiac preset in your unit. Of course, appropriate PPE needs to be used for a given clinical context, and in our hospital, the N95 mask is standard for the prevention of aerosol transmission. Clean the probe or transducer and cable before and after use. You should review your unit's instructional manual to determine the optimal cleaning protocol for your device. In certain high-risk situations, you may wish to consider using a probe or device cover prior to the exam. If this is the case, you will need to remember to apply ultrasound gel to the probe prior to placing it in the device in the protective cover. Your hospital may have specific COVID protocols. However, the Canadian Society of Echocardiography has a comprehensive statement on the cleaning and handling of probes in the COVID setting. Now, let's find our first window. So what is an ultrasound window? An ultrasound window allows the propagation of ultrasound waves. Tissue or fluid provide the best media for ultrasound propagation. Dense structures such as bone will reflect ultrasound and cast shadows. Air, on the other hand, will scatter ultrasound and produce imaging artifacts. Neither bone nor air provide suitable windows for cardiac ultrasound. It is important to acquire the images in a standard order. Most cardiologists start with a parasternal long axis view though some protocols start with a subcostal or subxiphoid view. Parasternal long axis view is arguably the most important in that it contains potentially the maximum amount of diagnostic information while being the easiest to acquire, particularly for novice users. In the parasternal long axis view, we are seeking a soft tissue window between the sternum, the ribs, and the lung. 